All right, thank you very much for joining me. This is Gullpain back again with a quick uh, video response or video answer, I don't know, um, to a question by uh, Guar Guardolino, Guar Guan Guanaldino, um, Guardolino plays. Um, and he basically asked the question, uh, five, giddy, five, giddy, five video game franchises that you love. So I've picked um, a few uh, that I have in my collection here and I just sort of put them together. Uh, it's like a little collage that, that, um, that I quite liked. So basically the first one I've gone for is the um, Kudelka slash Shadow Hearts series. Now I only have three, there's only four games in the series. There's Kudelka, Shadow Hearts 1, 2 and 3. I don't currently have Shadow Hearts 2. I had it when I was um, younger, but I don't know where it went. It, it disappeared in like a move. So I need to actually rebuy it. I didn't actually notice that I needed it until recently. So, um, but Shadow Hearts 1, is top drawer. Shadow Hearts 3 is okay. Kudalka is okay as well. But the best one is actually the one I'm missing, which is Shadow Hearts 2 Covenant. Uh, but that's a really, really good um, series. And it's an easy one to collect for because there's only four games in it. Uh, the next uh, one I've gone for is the Castlevania series. Now, there is loads and loads and loads of games in the Castlevania series. So if you want to start a collection um, for a specific series, that's a good one to start with. However, the games, some of the games are really super expensive, so they're impossible to get. Like the Game Boy um, Color one, Castlevania Legends, or even like Castlevania 3 on the NES, they're like impossible to get, like, like the boxed ones. So I've only got a few. I've went for... I'm not really into the Castlevania for the Nintendo Entertainment System, like the original Nintendo. I'm not really into the Castlevanias on that at all. Um, and also, the, I'm not really gone on the Super Nintendo one. Like, it's a really good game, um, but I'm not really... Like, I never had it when I was a kid. Whereas the other Castlevania games, like Symphony of the Night, um, the two on the PlayStation 2, um, and the, the DS ones, those are the ones that I really like. So those are the ones, the DS and the Game Boy Advance ones, those are the ones that I went for. Um, like complete in box and all that like you could get the the cartridges but I'd rather have it in the box if it's a collection so that's another good one to collect for there um, so I've got quite a few there and the next kind of it's not really a series but like it's more like a, a line well, I suppose it is a series because a series is a line but basically on the Game Boy Advance um, they do like an NES classic um, NES Classic Collection, where there's just a load of Nintendo Entertainment System games, but they're on um, the Game Boy Advance. And um, there's quite a few of them in the line. There's a few, I think there's a few more in, in Japan as well, uh, but they're all numbered and they're all, they all have like the standard sort of like red and black um, box and they're all like the original, well most of them are, the original artwork from the game, um, which is really cool as well. So that's quite a nice, and they're not that expensive either. They're most, most I mean, I got, I think I got pack, Excite Bike for a fiver, complete in box, and it's mint. Um, Pac-Man, again, I think I paid seven pounds for that. Um, they, I think the most expensive ones um, are like Metroid and um, The Legend of Zelda, those sort of ones, you know, the, the really popular ones. Um, but still not that expensive. I mean, not, not completely out of reach like so. Um, and then another series that I really like is um, probably my favourite series of games um, besides Castlevania or maybe it's a tie, I don't know, <laughs> um, is the Suikoden series. So I've got quite, a, actually I've got every single Suikoden game. Um, I'm not sure, I've got like Suikoden 1, 2, um, three, four, five tactics, tier Chris. I've even got the PSP one where it's a Japanese one where it's weakened one or two on the PSP, uh, woven web of a century. Um, there's not that many sweeken in games. The only thing is, there's a lot of variations like there's a Japanese version, the American version, the Saturn version, the PlayStation version. So I haven't really gone for different versions yet. I'm not that extreme. There's also a, a few collector's editions as well. There's a four and a five collector's edition. There's also a sweeken in three collector's edition, but that is so rare. I've, I've never seen it like I've never seen it on eBay um, I've only seen it on a Facebook group that I'm in um, a Suikoden group and someone posted a picture of it and I was like oh my god I want that but um, yeah so that's a handy series to collect for as well the games aren't that expensive um, for uh, like the Suikoden games well the first two on PlayStation are quite expensive but the rest of them aren't that expensive at all um, and it's you know quite a easy easy um, collection to get uh, eventually with time and then the last one I've gone for is the gold. This is probably the easiest um, one to get if you want to start collecting a series is Golden Sun. There's only three games. There's two on the Game Boy Advance and one on the DS. The one on the DS is super cheap and the two Game Boy Advance ones are like £20 each so they're not too bad. Um, but it's a really really good series of RPGs. Um, you basically have to go around and collect these little gin things and then like there's like a very simple story but it's still pretty cool. Um, yeah so that, those are a few series 
um, that I that I kind of like to collect for well, five series that I like to collect for. So thanks very much, um, Guadardino, for answer for asking the question, and thanks very much for watching the video. And I hope to see some of your response videos in the future too. Adios. See you again.